Hello, I'm Jeff Kritzer from the University of Nebraska Kearney Department of Teacher Education, and I want to speak to you about a subject near and dear to my heart. One of the most important communities in any school, be it elementary school or secondary school, is the RTI team or the problem solving team, student study team, student success team. For nearly 25 years, I attended thousands of these meetings, a team consisting of members of general education and special education would respond to referrals from classroom teachers asking help for one of their students. To be effective, this team needs to have, be collaborative without personal issues that get in the way of helping a child. This bonding process takes time. Collaboration doesn't just naturally happen. That's why staff mixers are important for bonding. This team is constantly changing, but typically consists of the referring teacher, a representative from general education, a special educator to consult with, and an administrator or designee authorized to make decisions. Perhaps there will also be a nurse, a counselor, or a bilingual coordinator if indicated. The research shows that 95% of referrals to special education will be eliminated by help of this effective problem solving team. This is a powerful reason to implement this process at your school. The issues are not always academic. Sometimes children are just neglected at home and need a trip to a clothing bank. Teachers need to feel as if these referrals are worthwhile. They take time and might not happen again if the team doesn't meet the needs of this teacher and provide some good ideas. It's certainly not enough to tell the teacher to go back to the class and teach better. They need to be offered concrete, practical suggestions. There needs to be in place several school-wide research-based interventions to help the students who need them in areas such as reading, writing, math, social skills. It's critical that administer, administrators allocate time for these problem-solving meetings to take place. Many teachers complain that adequate time is not allocated to this process. If the problem is math achievement, a student might benefit by being sent to another classroom for math. This requires faculty collaboration and administrative cooperation. Many elementary schools are reluctant to have students leave their classrooms. One of the most important things that a problem solving team can be doing at the secondary level is brainstorming alternative career paths for students who just don't quite fit in. Someone in every school needs to lead this process and administrators should give these people the time they need. After about six weeks, the team should be meet again to see how these interventions are working and whether changes need to be made. Oftentimes, a third meeting six weeks later is needed to assess progress. It is only at this time that the referral to special education is considered. If you are unaware of this process at your school, I urge you to ask your administrator about it. I believe this process can, can save children's lives. The purpose of this video has been to stress the importance of having a viable, effective problem-solving team at your school. Your students deserve it and your faculty will appreciate the support it provides. I am Dr. Kritzer. Thank you for listening.